If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, morning team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. First time making a Madden video in a while, probably since College Football 25 came out. But Madden 25 is coming out very soon. It's less than a week away, or about a week away at the start of this video. And they put out their first gameplay, their first live full gameplay uh, between uh, Micah Parsons and Henry. Uh, and, you know, this here is our first real look for a lot of people to see the game. Uh, I know me personally, I played the beta, so not a lot of stuff is new here, but there is even some stuff that I didn't know you could do when I was playing the beta. So I'm going to go over all that. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be subscribed, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, one of the things that they talk about quite a bit coming out is the presentation. They have some new voiceover guys. I heard they have a new uh, presentation in the Super Bowl with something they haven't revamped in a couple of years, which is something that uh, they got a lot, of, a lot of heat for. And we all know they like to use a lot of buzzwords like boom tech and stuff like that that so i'm not just going to tell you guys the features i'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on it having actually played with these things how different it really is and how much it's just a buzzword because we know ea loves their buzzwords now starting off with the kickoff system this is something that is brand new uh, to the nfl uh, the only real time that we've seen this i think was in the arena football league and they also have a new kick meter as you can see here but this and like a lot of things are very similar to college football 25 as you can see the kick meter is going back and forth and you don't have control over that you just have to time it which is something that's brand new but a lot of the functions that are new in college football 25 are going to mirror in madden 25 as it really feels like this game is more of a copy and paste of college football than college football is a copy and paste of madden this year uh, it's going to be interesting uh, number one you're not going to be able to go online and play against the guy that basically just does a ton of onside kicks and doesn't like to let you get the ball. And that's because I don't think they let you do an onside kick until the fourth quarter. After this, they go over the new boom tech system and there's a new uh, you know feedback system as well. So if you're hit sticking too early, you're gonna get a written description that says that. Uh, and you're also gonna get a yellow color. If you hit that on time, you're just gonna say boom and you're gonna get a green light up. So it's just a new timing system that's kind of important. And if you don't necessarily hit that, you're gonna see you're gonna have a lot of broken tackles, which is something that I mentioned when I made a video a little while back about how when I played the game, there really just seemed to be a lot of broken tackles. And I think the more I've played college football, the easier it is to get used to tackling, as you can see right there. I mean, that looked like a really strong tackle, but he was too early, so he bounces off of that and has an opportunity to stay in the play. But that, combined with the fact that they're talking about this new uh, ball carry system, which is really just more, um, you know, it's just more pushback against stuff like tackles and hit sticks, you can see how you're gonna have a lot of, uh, you know, running backs just breaking through tackles, receivers just breaking through tackles. The one thing that I like, I mean, it doesn't look a lot of broken tackles here but the one thing that i like is that they said it's less animated driven gameplay so that's probably going to be something that is going to make a lot of people happy based on the fact that most people don't like when animations decide how a play ends there's also some new visual feedback when it comes to how catchable a pass is. If the passing reticle is really large, it's an inaccurate pass. If it's really small, it's going to be an accurate pass. They also go over some new color coding. If it's a green, uh, if you get a green target, that means it's a catchable pass. If it's a yellow, it's semi-catchable. If it's red, it's not very catchable at all. They talk a little bit about the new jukes and the new uh, spin animations and stuff like that. And I think when the game first came out, or at least in the beta stage, it felt like it wasn't very sticky. Uh, but the game definitely, if you play college football over time, you do realize that as long as you're holding the left trigger or the l2 button you can definitely make a lot of guys miss uh when it comes to juke moves and stuff like that it's still a pretty powerful move it just takes a little bit more timing and uh, you definitely have to be right in front of the defender to fake them out they also spent some time talking about how they had Isaiah Pacheco in the studio just to basically motion capture uh, his running style. I haven't heard uh, Dak Prescott doing Here We Go, which is something that he started doing last year that, that gained a little bit of notoriety. So there's definitely some improvements when it comes to authenticity, which is something they try to improve just about every single year. They talk about things like ball trajectory improvements. They can fit it in the tight windows like you see here, which is something that you also feel in college football 25. It doesn't feel like linebackers can jump 10 feet as often uh, as they did maybe in years past. So it definitely feels like you have to be closer in coverage to, to basically cover these tight window throws. There's definitely more opportunity now for that. Another thing that I noticed that I mentioned that there was more knockouts, and they mentioned that as well. If you can basically time hitting a receiver uh, within a certain time from them catching the ball, you can get more knockouts without actual knockout abilities. That was something that was very noticeable in the beta is that you can force a lot of knockouts in this game, which really should help improve pass defense 
They go over the new pass protection system, which is something, once again, that you basically should be using already if you're playing college football 25. It's very important when it comes to picking up blitzes. And it basically makes it to the point where anybody's saying the same blitz over and over. You can change your blocking structure to pick that up very easily. Now, one thing I learned from watching this video and I didn't realize when I was playing the actual game is that if you want to do a crazy one-handed catch, it's an actual function catch where all you have to do is hit the L1 or the LB button, uh, which is something that I only noticed when it randomly appeared during games now if you're on defense hitting the l1 or the lb button will do a swat or they'll jump up in the air and try to do a swat and just like that function on defense it actually extends the radius of your ability to attack the ball well on offense if you hit the l1 or the lb button it'll extend your catch radius as well so you'll jump up and try to catch the ball with more ability to uh, to pull it down now they did mention obviously doing this uh, increases your chances of basically getting a knockout or not catching it if somebody's around and at the same time they did mention that this might be best used if you're just trying to showboat or trying to show off on people they also went over the new hot routes that you have for all receivers you have post corners and slams on every single receiver on the field including tight ends uh, which is something that was really overpowered and they removed in the past but you don't have zig routes anymore which is kind of a bummer when it comes to wide receivers uh, you do have on running backs the ability to put your uh, running back on everything except for a wheel route which is also very popular in years past they took that away as well so a couple of very popular ones are gone but they also have a lot of new ones that really open up creativity when it comes to attacking deep coverages they also talked about passing types changing a little bit bullet passes releasing a little bit faster which is something that you know i didn't necessarily notice it felt about the same to me when playing the game but it's something they did go out as far as to mention so it is possible that bullet passes are a little bit faster along with trajectory changes which they mentioned so passing in general is supposed to be uh improved but like i said to me it really felt pretty similar to previous games now they also go over another feature that's already in college football 25 which is the new coverage shell system which i feel is pretty incomplete based off the fact that you don't have the ability to base the line or you know you basically lost more functions in my opinion but i do enjoy the coverage cell system i just feel like it needs an improvement already uh they talk about custom stems which is something i mentioned earlier uh this year based off the fact that you have corner routes and post routes is going to be absolutely overpowered um, because the custom stem system can really make it to the point where you can change it just about any single depth you want which in my opinion means that the coaching adjustments need to be changed to reflect the possibilities but that's just me that's something that um you know i don't, I don't find has really been an issue when it comes to playing college football but I think it could be an issue in Madden because I think it's a more competitive environment and I think exploits are going to be more uh, more used when people get used to that they talk about cover three being revamped which is my personal favorite defense it's the defense I use the most so I'm glad to see that they're talking about some new logic changes like when it comes to, to following crossers and stuff like that although that would probably be the guy that most people would be using anyway so you might not necessarily see the benefit of that but people that like to play on the defensive line definitely will as they won't be messing with the coverage they'll just be using defensive alignment after all that though there really wasn't a lot as they really just kept talking about the new passing trajectory and the little bit of tweaks that they did the presentation and it was all pretty much uh you know like getting skinny between uh the tackles and stuff like that it really felt repetitive at that point it was a 20 minute long video which is why i really wanted to shorten it in this video and get you basically to the point where you can get all the new features and an idea of all the new gameplay features in a much shorter time frame and last but not least, we have the new switch stick system, which is once again, something that's already in college football. And I think it gives a lot of people issues. I can't say that I've seen anybody really good with the switch stick yet, but that is a new feature. If you haven't played college football 25, man, will be the first time you get to use that. I'm sure it's something that we'll get better with over time, but that's pretty much it. For the most part, all of the new features were really things that were in college football 25, uh, with the exception of a few features actually being kind of toned down compared to college football 25. Things like the new uh, passing hot routes, you get way more options in college football 25. I don't think, the only thing that's really different when it comes to uh, Madden that, like I said, I learned while watching this video is that you can access the one-handed catch function. That plus the new kickoff system. But otherwise, these games are pretty identical when it comes to new features. So if you're playing College Football 25, nothing really new in Madden that's going to be that much different. So to me, a lot of this 
was a lot of just presentation and buzzwords, which we typically see from EA. And having played both games, they also feel pretty similar, so there's not a huge difference between the two. I'm going to end the video there, though. If you guys want to see more videos about Madden 25 before it comes out, I have videos that I've already made popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.